Hi there, this is Jason McConnell, and in this video I'm going to show you how to create plaids using a great online resource called plaidmaker.com. And I'm going to use Photoshop to help me create the formulas that I'll need for the warp and the weft stripes. The first thing that I'll do is show the rollers, which is Command R, Control R. And we want the rollers in pixels because Plaidmaker makes plaids that are based on 72 pixels per inch resolution. And by the way, if you're measuring a piece of fabric, just take a roller and 1 inch equals 72 pixels, 3 quarters of an inch equals 54 pixels, a half of an inch equals 36 pixels, a quarter of an inch equals 18 pixels, and 1 eighth of an inch equals 18 pixels. And all other sizes you can derive from that. So I'm going to right click in the ruler and that's a quick way to change my units to pixels. Okay, next my image is 300 pixels per inch and I'm going to change that to 72 pixels per inch. So image, image size, change the resolution here to 72 and make sure that resampling is checked so that the height and the width stay the same and we'll hit OK. Okay, up next we'll find the repeat of the plaid which looks to be something like this. And we'll need to take measurements of the warp stripes, the ones that go from top to bottom, and the weft stripes, the ones that go from left to right. So let's start with the warp stripes. And if you have your marquee tool, make sure there's no feathering, and just click and drag, and you should see the width of your selection to the right. If you don't, um, and this is in a newer version of Photoshop CC, if you go to, on a Mac, it's Photoshop Preferences Interface. On Windows, it's Edit Preferences Interface. There's an option right here, Show Transform Values. I have that to top left. Um, if it's set to Never, make sure it's set to one of these. If you don't have a newer version of Photoshop, what you can do is, after you make your selection, go to your Info Panel. And this section right here is going to show you how wide your selection is. So the width of this stripe should be something like 9 pixels. I'll move to the white stripe next to it. And that's 25 pixels. And I'm just jotting these numbers down so when I go into Plaid Maker, I can just plug them in. This aqua is 14 pixels. And we're just getting kind of close. We can always adjust it later. And this is 14 also. And then this bigger black stripe is now 49 pixels. All right, so to make this go faster, I've jotted down the numbers for all of these stripes here. And then we can move to the web stripes. So start from the left side, make a selection, and we're looking for the height value for this. So in this case, it's 12 pixels. We'll go down to the white section, 30 pixels, Click and drag for the other section, and that's 17 pixels. Okay, to move this along a little faster, I've jotted down the remaining weft stripes, and we are ready to move into plaidmaker.com. And once in plaidmaker, you're going to click on make a plaid. On the left-hand side, you have your colors, and it doesn't matter that much what the colors are, you can always go back in and change them. All you have to do is either type in the hex value of the color, or click on the square on the right, and pick a color. And you can also click in here. And that's how you pick your colors. And I'll pick another, I'll pick a black. Okay. You can, if you like, create two different sets of colors, ones that are a little bit darker. So I usually do that actually. I'm going to pick a little bit off white. Actually, I'll just copy this color up here and paste it here and then just darken it slightly. And for this, maybe I'll just add a bit darker gray. All right, the reason why I do this is because you'll get a little more dimension in your plaids when you make them if you have different colors for your warp and your weft. Okay, up next on the right we have our across, which is actually our warp stripes, the first ones that we picked, the ones that go up and down. And you can pick a color. 
So right here I have my gray, and that was 9 pixels. Just hit the little plus button, and continue down. I'll pick the white white, 25 pixels, and then my bluish color, 14 pixels, and so on. And I'll speed this up a little bit. Okay, so you'll notice on the right hand side the preview is starting to show you your plaid. And if you click on the bottom right corner of it, you can extend that out and get a bigger view of your plaid. So it's really looking close to the original now. Our plaid wasn't exactly symmetrical, so what I'll do next is click on Edit. And I'll fast forward through this really quick, but I'll enter my weft stripes from left and right. Okay, that looks pretty good. And then when you're done, you just hit Download. And then to see how it looks, we'll go into Photoshop. And I'll do a File Place. Place it on the page. And there you go. And it's lining up pretty good. I might have to adjust a couple pixels here and there, but it's looking pretty good. Uh, one thing that I forgot to mention, and we can easily change it, is that you can change your twill from a plain one by one to a two by two. And then you really get a twill effect in there. I'll download that again. And then in Photoshop, I'll place this one. All right, so it's looking really good. And a couple other things you can do with Plaid Maker. If you save to gallery, you can enter the plaid name and your email address and go ahead and hit save and then next time you want to get back to it just click on browse plaids and you'll see that your plaids in there and if you want to make a change it's pretty simple just hit fashion classroom click on send to maker and you can come in here and easily adjust the colors You can adjust the size of your stripes and then re-download the changes. All right, and you can even go back into browse plaids and pick any other plaid. Go down to Center Maker and adjust those two. All right, so there you have it. Plaid Maker is really simple. It's a great resource to make plaids. If you need something more robust, there are other options out there. You can definitely use Photoshop to create your plaids and weaves, though it's a little bit tedious, especially since there are some plugins out there that do a great job. And of course, the big well-known CAD programs can make beautifully realistic plaids that are ready to send to the factory. And I've included some links to these in the description section. Alright, that's all. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.